just relax. And then they like, just relax, just relax. So I was like, oh, I'm about to relax, because I'm about to get out of the water. They're like, I'm about to die. Somebody <laughs> help me, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Welcome back. All right, this right here is gonna be our second, that's right, second story time. As y'all know, I, if y'all don't know, y'all need to know, man. Well, me and we need love traveling. So this story time is actually gonna be about traveling. But, <laughs> it's gonna be how I almost died. Well, it's actually how we almost died, because I felt the same thing. It should've just been. It, 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 get, let's get into it, let's get into it. So, story time number two, how we almost died. This is not no. This is not any clickbait. How we almost died in Cancun. Oh, you know what? We'll have <laughs> how we almost died in Cancun. So, uh, you want to kick it off or? <laughs> so. You know, no, no. Let's paint the picture. Let's paint the picture. Cause first we get, we can't get right to the the gist. No, I wasn't. I said okay. we went to Cancun for my 25th birthday. All right. So we went to Cancun for my 25th birthday. And it was me and him and my cousin and his girlfriend and we had a great time in Cancun it was our first trip out of the country other than on a cruise it was beautiful so, yeah it was beautiful the beach was just amazing I, I wish I had some footage to roll we you got you got pictures that you can roll jet skis and stuff uh, we're gonna get to the jet skis <laughs> Look, the pictures were beautiful. If you looked at the jet ski pictures, you never know we almost died. <laughs> um, so, so okay, this this isn't about the vacation. She she's she reminiscing about how beautiful everything was. It was so great. Listen, we, okay, we went to Cancun. You know when you go to places like this, they got excursions, right? So I'm gonna talk about two excursions in particular. We went to this little thing. <laughs> called a cave river something i don't know it's called excare and it's a park and they have the snorkeling the cave snorkeling you can be snorkeling in the cave the point of the uh, excursion was to swim around this cave like you're swimming through a cave it was but that was it that was the point no you had the snorkeling you look at fish oh y'all was looking at fish I won't look at no fish. I think Jonathan might be. <laughs> so it was fish in a cave. But the cave was like a, a big S or it curved around. And a lot of people was just like going through there. You swim through one end and come out the other end. So you get you get your uh, your life jacket, your snorkeling gear, you get flippers, all the good stuff, right? Once you walk in there, it's like a uh it's a big circle before you enter the cave. So in the circle People, uh, it's just like a pool of water, and you got guys helping you. Right, they got a couple people like, all right, you know, come this way, come this way. And before we go in there, before we even get into the little circle part, we it's a long line, and I asked the guy, I was like, hey, do you need to know how to swim to do this? And he was like, no, nah, you get the life jacket, and you know, it's cool. You kind of just float through there. You don't need really know, need to know how to swim. I was like, okay, all right, you know what? I'll try. Oh. Uh, first, first of all, I can't swim, like at all. Like I, I never learned, I never tried. Why? Why? I live on land. I don't need to know how to swim. <coughs> okay. If, if a big tsunami <laughs> come, it's time for me to go. It's like it's, it's, that's just it. He's so bad with swimming. He can float with a life jacket. <laughs> so, are oh, we about to get to that? So, like she said, we went with her cousin, her cousins, her cousin. His name is Jonathan. Hey, you know, like this video, watch, comment, Jonathan. He, he can he can uh, tell you what happened too. Go ahead, let him know in the comments. Yeah, he can tell you overreacted. Yeah, no. <laughs> Thank you, Jonathan. Everybody overreacted according to Jonathan, though. So, <laughs> Jonathan, you saved my life. Thank you. Thank you. So, so his girlfriend at the time, uh, her and Whitney had on their life gear already or whatever. So we're in this little pond I was talking about earlier. So as I'm walking towards the pond, I'm realizing, all right, my feet not touching the ground no more. So for those of y'all who can't swim, you know, like, all right, once your feet start touching the ground, you don't went too far, time to turn around and go back. But the guy told me, he was like, you gonna be all right, you can float. And it was, it was I ain't gonna lie, it was like a current. So you was kind of just floating through there. Like it, once you go in the cave, the water just gathered you. But 
like my feet couldn't touch the bottom of the water. So I'm in this little pond thing. I'm walking towards the entrance of the cave and I'm like, hold on. My feet not touching the water. I mean, my feet not touching the bottom, but I'm not standing on top of the water. So, you know, the little guy that was there, he was like, no, trust me, just keep going. You're going to be all right. I keep going. My head goes under the water. I'm like, bruh, I'm not floating. <laughs> he was like, and I know what y'all thinking. This is the part that I almost drowned. No, this, this is just build up. This is just to explain why I was so scared the second time I almost drowned. So keep watching. This is no. So, so. It's so dramatic. No, no, I'm not. So Whitney and um, Jonathan's girlfriend at the time come over there, and I got my arm around both of them. One arm around Whitney, one, one arm around Whitney, one arm around Jonathan's girlfriend. So we're going closer to the entrance, right? And I started to take them down with me. Like both of them can swim and they're now drowning <laughs> because I got my arms around them. So at that point I was like, nah. You weren't even trying to float. Like you just, he he wanted his feet to touch the bottom and he was so uncomfortable that his feet couldn't touch the bottom that he wouldn't let himself float. The life jacket was gonna keep you afloat. You, you It's kind of really hard to drown with a life jacket on. <laughs> I, I don't know how I managed to do it. Well, I didn't drown of course. But my thing is, all right. Yes, my feet are trying to touch the bottom, trying to touch the surface, but so the you life. Won't let his weight. But but I got on a life jacket. It's supposed to stop me from going under the water. <laughs> if I'm still going under the water, right here. Okay, so the, the, like this is it's about this much. Once I go under water, my feet will hit the bottom and then I bounce back up. I'm like, all right, you know, I can still I can survive right here. But like, if I'm going under to touch the bottom right here. I'm not going in that cave where I might not be able to ever hit the bottom. By the time I get to the bottom, I'll be done drown. It's <laughs> like <laughs> No, but you gotta understand, he's so terrible. We're trying to teach him how to tread water. And he won't do it because he's so scared his feet trying to touch the ground. We're in the pool at the hotel. And John is like, just just relax. You know, you you just move your arms and your legs, you don't gotta try to touch the water. He is just so terrified. <laughs> That he won't let himself stay afloat. Hey, I'm I'm used to having my feet on the ground, so you know, for anybody that 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 ever had a fear of drowning or that actually learned how to swim, and you got a tip that can help me, like leave that in the comments, cause I I, I really do want to know how to but swim. But he loves cruising. I, I do. I'm mean, I'm not scared. Like I'm not gonna go overboard. No, how does that go? No, I'm not gonna be nowhere. If I go down, it's cause the ship went down. So. I'm not scared of cruising. Like, I don't have a fear that the ship's gonna go down. I don't have a fear that I'm gonna go overboard. So, yeah, the cruise, I love cruising. But, now, we, we, the, I'm bringing both of them down, right? And then they like, just relax, just relax. So I was like, oh, I'm about to relax because I'm about to get out of the water. So I, I, I tiptoe right back over there to the edge of the little pond that I was telling y'all about. And I hopped right on out. The dude, the guy that was there that was helping, like, that worked for the, uh, the uh, was the theme part. He was like, "You're not gonna try." Nope, I tried. <laughs> I unbuttoned my life jacket. Here you go. You can have this. How do I get to the end? So I walked on around to the end, and I and I kindly waited for them to get out. And, it, and even when it, yo, as as people getting out, you can hear people saying like, "Oh no, you you had to know how to swim mm -hmm. to go through the cave." Even they said it. So. Yeah, I mean, it was like you had to swim to get through the cave. Otherwise, you was just going It would have took you a really long time yeah. to get out. But it's, it was really hard to swim with that life jacket on, too. So, I ain't gonna lie, I got real tired. Like, it was probably over a mile to get to the other side of, of the cave. So, we kind of stopped. Um, I, did Jonathan go all the way through? Yeah, Jonathan went out. And it was even point. It was points where you could stop and get out. Yeah, I stopped. <laughs> but, so, it, so, was, it, was, it was hard. But it, I mean, it seemed like something. But I never cool felt like I was gonna drown. <laughs> Cause you know how to swim. Or well, so she say. Let's get to the second story. Okay. Okay. Still, okay. Go ahead. Okay, we still in Cancun, right? Now, mind you, I'm not scared of the water. Like, I'm not gonna say, "Hey, I don't want to go out in the middle of the ocean." So, the next excursion, the next day, was jet skiing. And mind you, is that, that's another reason I agree jet ski. When they said we was jet skiing, I thought it was just like freestyle jet ski, get the jet, do what you want to do. That wasn't the story. We did get some beautiful pictures out of it though. That's picture.
family think the picture beautiful. It's, it's cool. Or what, okay. gorgeous picture? It's yeah. weird. Like Zine worthy picture. She, she thinks she was doing something. <laughs> she on the back like this. Like, she knew he was about to take the picture. Anyway. Like, he's the mom. You better hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, she was scaring me too. She, all right. He was terrified. All right, you know what? I, I'll go ahead and let you build up to the, the point. <laughs> so, we got on the jet skis, and it's a, it's a little tour. I think it was four of us. And John was on his own jet ski. Four jet skis? Yeah, four jet skis. So, eight he, couples. Yeah. So and he he did, yeah, yeah. John was up there by himself because I think his, girl, his girlfriend was up there for, uh, originally. And he was like, nah. <laughs> So oh, okay, <laughs> first of all, shout out to uh, his his old girlfriend. She she actually can speak Spanish. So um, her and her instructor was talking back and forth or whatever. But Jonathan, it was four couples in a instructor, so five jet skis and all. We in a line following him, but we keep looking back like, come on, Jonathan, we leaving you, yeah. <laughs> Justin was going like two miles out. He's like, I don't know how y'all going so fast. <laughs> But it was scary because like the water is real bumpy and then one of the jet skis squirted out water so like this the jet ski so I had a line of water shooting from it and he was behind yeah he was behind that jet ski so it was kind of hard for him to get right behind it and the closer you are to the jet ski in front of you the smoother the water is because it's making like a little path yeah but he was in, he was in the very back so and it's funny because on the way back we were in the very back yeah and, and, and well, we, we, we we'll tell you about that too we get there and it was a beautiful little tour. Like, he took us all through kind of trees, a swamp area. And then, oh, you good. Yeah, we went through the, um, what's it called? Lagoon? I don't know. Yeah, we went through the lagoon first. And then we got to the ocean. And the lagoon was kind of scary. I, I was a little afraid of the lagoon. I'm glad we got to the ocean. And oh, yeah, because we was, we was doing it to snorkel. Right. <laughs> I won't get in out. <laughs> the first water we looked through, went through looked kind of dirty. Like, I won't get in off the uh, jet ski no way, but... I was like, I wasn't snorkeling in this green water. <laughs> so we finally got to the ocean. And y'all, he took us out here literally in the middle of nowhere. We could see land nowhere in sight. We couldn't see nothing. And it was crazy because before we got there, we did ride past some buildings and other ships. And we just kept riding. <laughs> <laughs> we were out in the middle of nowhere. And I was like, I'm not getting that water. He's like, no sharks. I was like, uh huh, all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I did. I think I got in there for a second. And I don't like snorkeling. I it, it never works for me. I always get water in my mask, and <laughs> I just don't like it. So I was I was in the water about two seconds, and I got back on the jet ski. Did you help me get back on? I got back on. He stands up. I don't know what he did. Next thing you know, both of us flying back in the water. He is going crazy. Kicking, swinging. If he would have hit me down, <laughs> I would have been knocked out. He was going crazy. My cousin comes swimming over there. He's like, calm down, calm down. You got to calm down. I can't help you unless you calm down. <laughs> he finally gets him to calm down. Meanwhile, I'm floating. Further and further away. The current is just pushing me further and further away from the jet ski. And with a life jacket on, you can't swim, so I'm, I'm just floating with the current. She said she could swim, y'all. I'm floating with the current, though, with a life jacket on. Yeah. It's hard to swim with that life jacket on. Just like going through the tunnel, the tunnel was going, you going with the current. So it was just helping you push along. Yeah, she just, but this, I was just, I just gave up trying to, I just floating away. And she about to take a life jacket off, y'all. I'm like, no, don't take that life jacket. At least you floating right now. <laughs> I'm trying to take my life jacket off so I can swim back to the um jet ski. And I, look, I got my mask in my hand. I'm trying to hold on to the snorkeling gear. I let all this, <laughs> all of that snorkeling gear go. And the life jacket, he didn't hook it up between my legs so it's it's raising up above my head i was just about to take it off because i at that point i was getting scared like all right at, at, something at this, gotta go at this point i had already made it we're gonna go back to my story but at this point i had already made it back on my jet ski and i can't do nothing but look at her float away like <laughs> just like oh man and i'm just scared something gonna bite my leg off <laughs> So hold on, cause she, she didn't set it up right. You might have to tell your story again. <laughs> All right, let's. So now we we finally get to the place. I'm starting back from the beginning. We finally get to the place after the ride, 
I, it felt like about an hour. Might not have been, but it felt like about an hour. <laughs> After riding for about an hour, we finally get to the place where we're going to snor snorkel at. So the instructor tells everybody to stop and line up. So all the jet skis line up. He gets off his jet ski and ties all five jet skis together. So it's, it's a little current out there, but it's not nothing crazy. So the jet skis are moving without the jet skis being on, but it's slow. So they moving, but they're not really going anywhere. So he says, hey, this is the point we're gonna snorkel. Anybody wanna snorkel, go ahead, hop off your jet ski and do your thing. We already had our mask and all that stuff like that. I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna chill out here, wait for everybody to finish snorkeling. That's what I'm gonna do, because I can't swim. I already know I can't swim, because I tried to swim the other day, and I almost drowned. I almost took two people with me, so I'm like, no, I'm not getting out this thing, but it was a nice ride. So I'm just sitting here, everybody hop off, all the other couples. I think every, did, did everybody get in the water? No, one girl, one other girl did. Okay, so everybody was in the water except for me and another girl. We kind of just sitting on uh, jet skis like, hey, water looked pretty. It was pretty, blue. You could see straight to the bottom of the ocean. Well, like, you can't yeah. see that far, but you can see straight through the water. So, um, uh, Whitney snorkeling for a little while. I see the instructor out there in the water with no life jacket on, just like a dolphin. I'm like, this one, like, where you learn how to swim at? I need to go to your swim class. So he's just out there swimming. Like, I'm like, all right, cool. Like, you ain't, you ain't really watching nobody over there. You ain't helping us, but you know, do your thing, do your thing. So uh, her cousin is, uh, her cousin Jonathan is swimming and everybody else is swimming, but he's important to this story because I need him. <laughs> and Whitney is uh, swimming, but she didn't really like it. She was like, ah, it's all right. You know, I'm about to get back on the jet ski. So she comes back to the jet ski, y'all. And hear me, I'm sitting on the jet ski chilling, right? I'm just sitting up here. Boop, 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 boop. Bouncing around with the water, sitting on the jet ski. And she comes back over and grabs on the side of the jet ski. And I'm like, all right, babe, chill out before I fall in now, right? And next thing I know? No, 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 no. I was back on the jet ski. You did ski. not get back on. Yes, man. I was back on the jet ski. You stood up before but I could sit down. I stood up because when she grabbed the jet ski, but he it, started, stood up. it was already rocking with the water, right? And it started rocking more. So I'm like, all right, this thing leaning. I stand up to like kind of... It's, it was just instinct, like once you start leaning this way, you want to kind of try to lean back this way. So I stood up. He stood up before I sat down and both of us went flying in the water. I stood up before you sat down because you were turning the boat. You were turning the little jet ski. So she put- Yeah, if you would have just set your tail down, it wouldn't have flipped. Well, I was nervous. I was like, I'm about to die. Yeah, we were about to die. I and, flipped the boat over on us. And another reason I know you weren't up there yet, because I jumped. When a, when a jet ski <clears throat> flipped, I jumped because I didn't want to hit Whitney. So she was like right under the boat. So I jumped over her head to get into the water. I was up there already though. No, you won't. Yes, I was, right? I was about to sit down and next thing I know, I'm flying back in the water. Okay, so well, she, let's, let's go with her story. <laughs> she about to sit down. Yes, I was. So she said she about to sit down. So she pulling the jet ski. I'm, I'm trying to help her get on in the jet ski. You know what happens if somebody pulled this out of the boat or something like that. So the boat, the boat started tipping. I'm like, oh man. We about to go in. So I'm trying to lean back this way. So I'm up like this now, like, uh, but she pulled it from this way. So I'm like, all right, please don't let this boat tip over. Then I feel it. I'm like, this boat about to tip over. That's he that. made the boat tip over. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> Next thing I know, I just jumped off. Cause first of all, I didn't want to land on Whitney, which she tried to get back on. I'm, I'm trying to help her back on. I didn't want to land on her. And then I didn't want the boat to land on me. So instead of just falling in the water with the boat that tipped, cause the boat, it didn't tip, but that's because all the weight got off of it. But, you know, to try to avoid all that, I jumped out, which Jonathan at this point was kind of swimming like right where I jumped at. So I jumped out, I started going crazy, like I'm about to die. Somebody help me, <laughs> Lord Jesus. I did not come to Mexico for this. No, this is not how I want to go. I want to go and, and, and eat later and the, the Mexican food is good. So Jonathan comes swims up behind me. Jonathan a big dude. Like, he like 6'4", 240 pounds, maybe. So, I mean, he was like, just calm down, just calm down. He's like, you gonna hit me in my face. I'm like, all right, I calm down for two seconds. Jonathan lift me up out of the water and throw me back to the boat. 
<laughs> so I'm, I'm swimming in the air because I'm out of the water. This one, like, all right, I can see the boat. Boom, I land right in front of the boat. I climb back on. So at this point, I'm sitting on a boat and I don't know what's going on with Whitney because I'm like, all right, I'm safe. Yeah, I could have been dead. I'm alive. I, I, and you know how people say, like, your life flashed for you. Well, well, my life didn't flash before my eyes, but, like, in that moment, everything slowed down. So it was probably only three seconds. But it felt like I was in that water for 30 minutes. Even the boat, even the boat falling over. I was like, okay, the boat falling. What's going to happen? All right, Whitney, get out the boat. Let me live. You just, you can swim. Don't pull me in there with you. It's, uh, yeah. It was the scariest moment of my life. I'm, I'm, and like, so... Okay, back. I'm back on the I'm back on the uh, jet ski now, and I turn around to look for Whitney, and she like way out there where the instructor was at, and I'm like, what are you doing over there? You you decided to snorkel, so I'm looking at her. She's frustrated. I can see it on her face, and she was like, I can't swim. I'm like, what? I thought you knew how to swim. She's like, no, this thing. She wasn't really saying nothing though. And then I see her reach for the buck. I'm like, no, don't pull that don't pull that life jacket off. Cause if you can't swim now with the life jacket on, you definitely not gonna be able to swim with that life jacket off. Yes, I could, cause it's hard to swim with the life jacket on. Well, we, All you can do is float with that life jacket on. Well, floating is better than <laughs> not floating. No, and the current is just pushing me further and further away. It was. She was out there. So the instructor, I don't even know how he got back. I look up and he down there untied the boat. He was like. Go get her. <laughs> he was like, I'm not out here to save nobody. He untied my boat and he was like, go get her. So I, I cruise on over there. And then she climbed. We didn't fall this time. She she climbed back on the boat. You know, you learn from your mistakes. She climbed back on the boat. And and we kind of, I would say we rode off into the sunset, but we didn't. Because for some reason, on the way back to, to the beach, we are in the back. Not, not. The back back, like we we in the back back. Like I understand what Jonathan was going through because we're we're behind this little ship, uh, uh, behind the jet ski that's spitting up the water, and I'm riding. I'm like, hold on, babe, because I I don't know if water was getting in her face or what, but you know when you holding somebody's waist, you kind of feel them like uh, detaching. I'm like, no, no, hold on. So I'm slowing down, but at this point, we we riding and. <laughs> And this is the person in front of us. And, and this is the distance. And I slow down every time she like let up a little bit. I'm like, all right, baby, leaving us. And it's harder to ride without the person in front of you, as I said before. Yeah, I mean, it was just like, boom. <laughs> <laughs> and this water's flashing everywhere. So at this point, it's salt in my eyes. I'm like, we can't, can't neither one of us see. <laughs> they left us. The instructor ain't even look back. He ain't look back not once. And I blame Jonathan as girlfriend because she sitting on that ride with him. And this time she driving. So he sitting behind her just bumping. Uh, uh. I'm like, come on, dude. You up there trying to do what you doing and we back here about to die. But the thing is, we, we didn't notice it at the time. But he took us all the way around wherever we was going to go. So the beach that we was going to was a straight shot. But in my mind, I'm like, we about to go back through this lagoon and all this stuff. I would get lost in all these curves. Because we was going through, like, little openings in the trees and stuff like that. But we got to a point where they was so far gone that we could barely see them. And a big ship, like a cruise ship, rode in between the path that they took and the path that we took. You being sad, No, that was a cruise ship, man. That's how, that's how big the gap was. A cruise ship rode, rode in between. Cruise ships don't even go to camp. I don't care. A cruise ship rode in between their four uh, jet skis and ours. So they went in front of the cruise ship. We went behind the cruise ship. I'm like, come on, dude. You're not going. He finally get to the beach, get out the jet ski, and turn around and look like, oh, we missing one. And he going to come back. No, we don't need you now. We know where we're going now. We see the beach. So. So. Uh, yeah. Uh, the best time and the worst time. <laughs> yeah, we had so much fun. Everything else was good. The food, the uh, the people, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was scary. Yeah. But, story time number two, how we almost died in Cancun. If you like this video, you know, if you got any kind of laugh or any kind of experience like this, you can like, you got an experience like this, you can comment. And if you're not already, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.